There are no shortage of great athletes at this championship as we look at the collegiate record, meet record, Britton Wilson, uh, two different times. There are plenty of those great athletes trying to double this championship. Only one of them is trying to pull off their double in less than a half hour. Arkansas is Britton Wilson. She is special. She probably knows that, but never shows that unless she's on the track and in her lane. To, I knew coming into the school that this is a winning team and that they have a legacy built already. So I wanted to obviously just be a part of it, but I didn't think I would play such a big part in the, the winning legacy that the University of Arkansas track program has. Being able to really like contribute to it and add to that legacy is really special and it makes me feel like I belong here, like I was supposed to be an Arkansas Razorback. To do something that nobody else has ever done before, that would really mean a lot to me. Britton Wilson wins the title and 10 points for the Razorbacks. Nobody in collegiate history has won the 400 and the 400 hurdles at the NCAA championship meet, so I'm hoping to be the first to do that. So this is a bold endeavor, but even if the flat 400 and the four hurdles were like three hours apart, it would be audacious because, Dwight, more than anything, like these two events are just hard. Yeah, you know, we've had this discussion. We think the 400 hurdles is the toughest event in the sport, and 400 is right there behind it. But my concern has been, and is, the amount of wind that's blowing today. And it's going to be blowing in the faces of these 400-meter runners as they go down the back stretch. And my old teammate, John Smith, who is still the world record holder in the 440-yard dash, says, when it's blowing in your face on the back stretch, it doesn't matter at all that you get the tailwind in the home stretch. <laughs> when we talk about the when we talk about the historic double guys, coaches from around the conference got a chance to just pipe in and coach Mike Holloway said, hey, you know what, we can be critical about this and the decision, but don't be. Just sit back and admire it. And Coach Flo here at Texas, he praised her for the effort to be courageous enough to try it. And certainly Coach Bucknam said it's been a pleasure to see her work every day. She always has a great attitude, but more than anything, she's willing to do what it takes to help the team. Yeah, guys, I for sure thought it would be a, take a 48 to win this championship, but with that win, it might not be that. But Rashida Adelike from Texas, well, sometimes when I see her run, I'm like, I'm thinking, is that a thing, Moo, out there? She's running so tall. She looks like she's running against five-year-olds. She could really push Britton Wilson today. And, of course, there's the former champ from last year, the reigning champ, Talitha Diggs from Florida, also trying to round in the shape into this final. Adelike being one lane out from Britton Wilson is an advantage for Britton Wilson because Adelike likes to go out. And they are away. Diggs. The defending champion in five for Florida. The current collegiate record holder, Britton Wilson in six, and Rashida Adelike in seven. And not much has changed since the start. That wind in their face, Dwight, seems to be affecting them a little bit. No one's really making up the stagger on the back end. Diggs now is starting to fall off the pace, and Wilson makes the move. And Adelike is right there. But here comes Britton Wilson. Delicay has the crowd, but Wilson has the lead. It is closer than we expected to be. Here comes Adelike. Oh my gosh, this is a huge upset. This seals it for Texas. Ooh. And at 49-20, she just misses the collegiate record. That's a meet record, breaking Britton Wilson's record from the other day. And I swear that is about the win that was on the backstretch. This is a woman who can take a lot more of that than the smaller Britton Wilson. Well, there's so much upside to Rashida Adelike. Every time she runs the 400 meters, she runs a personal best. She represents Ireland. She's got every record for the country of Ireland from 60 meters all the way to the 400, except for the 100. And I thought for sure, I thought she was going to give Britton Wilson a run. But this is a whole crowd advantage. This is the people on the home straight standing up rooting for her. She just went to another level right here. Yes, she did. And Rashida Adelike, you could tell she was fired up after the race. But right here, she said, you you guys have been talking about Britton Wilson for weeks upon weeks. Who do you think you are? I am Rashida Adelike with an amazing finish for the Texas Longhorns. And once again, we're having some fire races here today. Number three time in the world this year and a meet record. But more importantly, those 10 points for Texas pretty much seals it for the Longhorns. Winning the title here at home, that would be something that they've been talking about all year long. 
A delicate at 49-20. Britton Wilson second. Not bad, 49-64. And Nikisha Price, look at the 2-3-4 for Razorbacks, though. That is 19 points for Arkansas. But the winner is downstairs with John. Yeah, and I'm downstairs on the track with, uh, with the winner. And I make exceptions for people who run 49-20. I'll sit down and visit when they talk about them. Uh, first, tell us about the conditions. We worried about some of the wind on the backstretch. How hard was this race? I don't know. It's kind of a blur, to be honest. <laughs> I just wanted to go out there, you know, give my all. Don't run scared. I'm always running scared in the 400. I'm not really used to the pace, and I don't really know how it works yet. Well, you know, trust God, trust my coach, trust myself. And that's exactly what I did out there today. A lot of talk about, obviously, Britton Wilson, and she had the times coming in. What did you think about in sizing up your competition when you got ready for this race? It's me against everybody else. I'm not focused on the noise about any other athletes. You know, at the end of the day, I can't control what anyone else does. So I just have to trust myself, trust God, and trust my coach. Is it true uh, your coach, Coach Flo, has a piece of paper that says, I will never run the 400 here at Texas on it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never really wanted to run it because it's so long, and the workouts are so hard. But you know what? Like, I feel like this is the event for me, and it's been going so well. I've only been training it for, I started training for the 400 in the fall. Like, it's my first season, and I'm really excited to see how I can do in the next couple of years. Well, it's a shame we won't see you in the 4x4, four four, but congratulations on your performance and championship Thank tonight. Thank you. There you go, Dwight. Some people, I will never do this unless I win the national championship. 